um, it's uh, six o'clock in the morning in Tampa and uh, for the first time I'm going to Saint Bart with the 414 and uh, co-piloting is uh, my partner in the plane Don Philippe and his wife Erin in the back we're gonna be flying over 1200 miles over the uh, Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean uh, we're just uh, holding short run with 22 and uh, I'm gonna ask for my clearance and uh, we're taking off Speed is alive. Rotation at uh, 88. Blue line. As dark as it gets over the water. Yep. Trey, Tampa departure radar contact to east of Peter or Knight. Clear to the uh, destination airport via radar vectors to Palm Beach that is filed. So now we're all set, uh, we're clear to uh, 1 2000, and then uh, they're gonna clear us direct to uh, West Palm Beach and probably direct to destination after that. Cancer 414X or X, remind me, sit around you. Good morning, climate maintains all of a 21021 and clear direct Palm Beach. So as uh, every year I'm uh, going to Saint Bart uh, to shoot that big boat race regatta with the fastest boat on earth. We're going to have this year about 80 boats on the water. One of the most highest technology boats you can have, uh, fully carbon fiber with a football, football team on board. They usually carry between 50 and 25 uh, crew on board. Uh, it's absolutely magnificent to watch. We just reach uh, 23,000 and uh, we see the sunrise now over the coast of uh, East Florida and that's our path right here. Just going from Tampa to West Palm Beach and then over Nassau and almost direct through the airways to uh, Providencial. Take us about 3 hours and 15 minutes. Don is a seasoned pilot. He's been uh, he's had a plane all his life from uh, Cessna Citation, uh, PC-12, uh, Mooney, and so forth. As you can see, it's uh, very early in the morning and already uh, small cumulus are starting to build up into uh, towery cumulus, maybe a uh, thunderstorm later on. Quite magnificent over the ocean. Well, that is brilliant. Want to make it one, two, one, step up. Yeah. Oh, the You've never seen one there before? Yeah, no. Uh, two flight over eight, 
as you for your health. And what is a very short runway that uh, requires special qualification. Confirm your squawking 4710. Runway is 2,000 feet with a big mountain in, the, in short approach. And uh, because of the turbulence of that ridge, we need to approach very high to avoid the vortex behind. You kind of plunge when you feel that uh, you can uh, go over it. And, uh, very small margin to touch down. Do they ask you if you're qualified to land at the airport? Yeah, they know me. Are you ready for the big land? I'm ready. Good uh, afternoon. One zero in use. Zero seven zero degrees. Uh, one six not variable. Zero four zero to one zero zero degrees. Okay, I'm ready on the spoiler when you tell me. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be crazy. Oh, weather size of yacht. And uh, sandbar tower for X ray X ray, a beam sugar off. I know runway one zero. November X ray X ray sandbar Roger, wind okay. zero six zero degrees one five knots, uh, variation between oh. zero four zero and one zero zero degrees. Sandbar tower for X ray X ray two miles final runway one zero. Roger, last wind 060 degrees, 15 knots, variation between 040 and 100 degrees. It's uh, quite turbulent and windy. Okay. The wind is coming a bit from the north. No. I'm here in the arbor of St. Bart uh, after that beautiful flight from Tampa and uh, I'm back here again to shoot this incredible machine uh, with Gladiator on board. I mean these boats are you know 20 to 30 million dollars sometime plus. They are 100 foot long or multi-hole and they go 20, 30 knots in the sea. This is the new playground for billionaires and their toys and their football team on board. Weather is amazing. Uh, we have some very good decent wind and I hope I'll be able to do some great picture. One minute before the morning signal. Today I'm going to do some uh, aerial shooting with that uh, beautiful uh, gyrocopter. 